Hello everyone, my name is Maxim and uh, today I will introduce to you the non-profit project that me and uh, my partner Harry have been uh, working on for the past three months. Um, Castica Deru is an uh, organization, non-profit organization based in Toronto, Canada and they approached us uh, because they wanted to uh, digitalize their entire workflow. Uh, they help um, poverty elevation by uh, uh, sending food packages every week and um, they have uh, around 300 volunteers and clients and um, there's at the moment they had a, a lot of stuff going wrong and uh, with the uh, inventory system and keeping track of uh, which packages have been delivered and which not um, so um, that's what we uh, have done um, I'm going to show going to log in here real quick and go over the features and then at the end I will explain the technology stack that we've used so first off uh, the uh, there's the client database and uh, this one uh, records all the clients that uh, of Castic Adori and their statuses so uh, when a client uh, submits his form digitally uh, previously it was on paper so we've uh, created an application form uh, for them and um, uh, when they do that then the uh, volunteers or the uh, uh, the stakeholder can approve uh, or reject them um, and um, this is basically uh, a table and a neat overview of all the clients you can uh, click on a client and see all their data uh, their financial information food preferences um, also their household if they have uh, children or uh, other family and then you can basically choose to accept reject um, make an, uh, a client inactive or deleted um, and then um, there's also a, a print list which you can generate uh, then you have a table and uh, yeah it's, this is pretty neat for the for our stakeholder he wanted to have that so he can have a overview he can present to his uh, volunteers and you can also export the uh, uh, data in, a, in Excel or a CSV uh, format uh, then next on to the next feature is the food schedule these are all the food items uh, that uh, currently is in stock uh, the name the starting date of the schedule and the frequency so uh, it, whether it has to be delivered every week or every uh, other week or uh, for items that are less frequent like ketchup or for example sugar then you can do that every once a month uh, or six weeks so uh, you can edit that in line um, choose a date and uh, choose a number so uh, yeah the next feature is the packing list so uh, after uh, all the inventory has been filled in then the packing list is uh, is being printed out uh, for the volunteers and they also able to uh, to check mark a client uh, whether to be packed or not so and this packing list basically the algorithm behind it uh, is takes into account the uh, um, clients food preferences it takes into account the food inventories uh, that's uh, um, in place and it also takes into account um, the uh, food schedule so which items uh, are to be uh, packed this week so as you can see the first client here only has uh, has less items than the second one because most probably he uh, his preferences are different and um, again for this table we have a print list as well so uh, volunteers can print it out and check mark on their own but they also have access to this part of the admin so basically the whole app is uh, has uh, this is the admin panel, but uh, the clients, volunteers, and donors also have their own um, um, section on this website. So, and they're based on, on uh, roles. So, volunteers they're uh, they're able to view the packing list and the food schedule, but clients, for example, they're not. So, uh, yeah, and then uh, you can check mark off and send packages, and uh, hopefully it's done. Yeah. And then the inventory, this is the place where all the food items are being inserted. Uh, this uh, is mostly done at the beginning and then uh, 
uh, you don't have to keep it up to date because the quantities are subtracted automatically when a packing list has been delivered. So you have food categories uh, on the left, you can edit them in line as well. And uh, food items on the right, uh, you can add a food item or search for, say, soda. Yeah, there we have it. Um, and you can edit them as well, of course. Yeah, even delete them. Um, and then next on to the uh, second, the, to the next feature, the drivers and the route assignments. So these are a list of the drivers um, and their delivery status, what is completed or pending, and if you, they have general notes of on the delivery. Uh, pretty simple. And then the route assignments, we've integrated with Google Maps in here. So it's uh, so the, yeah the admin can uh, have a neat overview of all the clients and their addresses addresses on the map, and he can select them based on their location and say okay these two are pretty close to each other, let's uh, assign them to Simona, and then uh, Simona is assigned to the client, so she has uh, she received the clients on the back end, and uh, she can then proceed on with the delivery. Then the volunteer database, um, uh, this is a list like the same, pretty much similar to the client database, but then for the volunteers and their statuses, and uh, here you can see more information on the volunteer. You can assign the driver uh, role to them, so volunteers can be assigned as drivers. Um, and um, yeah, you can also uh, delete them if you want to. And then on the last is uh, the donor database. Uh, this is a list of all the donors, the total amount that they have donated, and some basic information. If you click on a donor, then you get to see the list of their donations and the dates and amounts and the type of a donation. And if you click on a donation, then you get a neat model where you can see uh, more information, detailed information about it. And uh, uh, you can also uh, send the email and the tax receipt uh, thank you email and thanks receipt to the donor so that he can uh, he or she can print it out for uh, taxes tax purposes so that's pretty much the uh, the features that we have in here uh, the stack that we've used is uh, we started off with the mean stack um, with the mean boilerplate as well mean js and then uh, we've used uh, quite a few of third-party libraries First of all, we integrated with Google Maps API, with Manual API for the uh, mailing systems, uh, and uh, with uh, Mailchimp, uh, Chimp, so that uh, uh, because uh, our current stakeholder Jonathan, he was using Mailchimp to uh, keep uh, keep the emails and the names and send out mailing lists if he wants to. So uh, we've integrated with that so that he can uh, extract the data from here and insert it into there. And uh, otherwise, other than that, we also used um, a bootstrap on the front end, Angular, of course, part of the mean stack. We've used uh, Moment.js. Um, we've also used the, the admin LTE. Uh, that's the template you see right here and the pretty neat um, uh, actions. And um, quite a few others. On the back end, we have uh, the man, uh, node mailer to send out the emails, uh, Swig template, but we're not using the template engine that much because we have Angular on the front end. Uh, of course, we're using UI router with Angular and um, uh, uh, Angular Google Maps wrapper so that we uh, it makes it easier to integrate Google Maps with it. Um, and many, many, many more. Uh, I've, it's too much to cover in five minutes. So, um, uh, yeah, if you have any questions um, about this, feel free to ask them to, to Nathan or Quincy and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you or you can get straight to me. You can find me in FCC chat. My name is Maximization or Twitter uh, at underscore Maximization. Um, shoot me, feel free to send me an email or a message and I'll, uh, I'll answer any questions you might have. Uh, I'll be delighted to. Also, if you're working on a non-profit project in the future for a free code camp, then um, and your your yeah the, your scope of the project is pretty much the same as ours, then uh, and you find yourself with problems, ask me. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be glad to help uh, because uh, you don't need to uh, reinvent the wheel. Uh, 
that's um, that's it. Uh, have a nice uh, uh, meeting after this, and uh, see you soon. Thank you.